Hey there everyone, this is Nick As, founder and CEO at HitGosi. So in previous video, we saw how to work with forms in HTML, right? So we had these uh, three input tags, right? Tag, uh, one was uh, for full name, email, password, and a summon button, right? So we were summoning our form and we were basically uh, displaying the content of this form in the console, right? So in today's video, we're gonna see some uh you know styling stuff right so we uh basically worked with hover effects right so in today's video i'm gonna show you how to uh give hover effect to a uh, let's say a button right using the inline styling not the external styling but the inline styling right using the javascript of course so let's get started right so let me just clear this out form Okay, so let me just open the live server. Uh, 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 okay, have it. Let's clear the script file. We don't need this style of CSS. Okay, in this, uh, in here, this, in this div tag, we need to provide with a button. Let's say click here. Right, this one. Cool. Let's just uh, give it some styling. Okay, so we have something called uh, we uh, we will definitely provide the styling to this button, but not from here, not from this inline style, but using some uh, we'll use JavaScript for it, right? Let me just show you guys. So as we did before, let's provide it, it with an ID, right? Let's call it button BDN. Let's ex extract this button uh, BDN document dot get element by ID uh, BDN right button cool. So now what are we gonna do is let's um uh let's give it a background color right somewhat a light grayish color. So for that we have um. Uh, the style object right button dot style dot let's say hmm, what do you want you want to change the background color red background color equals to let's say light gray cool that's it we got the light gray color right let me just give a bit of padding inside right 20 pixels of padding that's yeah 10 pixels okay I want some rounded corners as well um, let's say border radius let's give it I don't know 10 pixels right this looks cool all right and I want um, I guess that's pretty much enough right so let's give the hover effect so what I want is uh, as uh, as soon as I hover this cursor over this button this uh, this um, this button basically would uh, I don't know it uh, let's give some of uh, some margin like right so whenever I hover over this button uh, it would gain some uh, I don't know 10 pixels margin from uh, top from the top or bottom I don't know we'll just look after it okay so again we'll go with we'll go with some list even listeners right this time we have mouse enter right this is some sort of an event mouse enter means whenever the mouse enters over here the callback function this callback arrow function would be triggered Right, and we can pass an argument over here, E or even whatever you may like. Right, so in here we got something called E dot current target dot let's say style. Okay, style, it's not taking style. Let me just go with target dot style. Okay, it's not taking style. I don't know why it's not taking style, but it would work, I guess. So whenever the mouse enters, 
what I want to do is uh, e.chronotarget.style. Let's get margin top. Right. So in here, uh, in JavaScript, the styling goes with uh, camel camel case. Uh, this uh, something I don't know what what to call it. It's camel case. Uh, I don't know writing some camel camel case stuff right so yeah okay so e dot chrome target dot style dot margin top equals to let's give some pixels of margin top okay let's hit save and hover over click here see it worked it worked and what i want is whenever i go like whenever i go back uh i mean whenever i hover out of this button the 10 pixels would become 0 pixels right so for that again we have a property called bdn dot again we're gonna apply the event listeners right we have mouse leave right so again the callback function with e argument e is basically the target right so e dot current target dot style dot uh, margin top Close to zero pixels, right? To the road back. See, it's working, right? So, what if I give some smooth transition to it, right? It would look really nice, right? Cool, this works good. So, what I want is whenever the margin top basically gains 10 pixels of margin, right? I want it to be really smooth. So, for that, we have property called transition right transition yeah transition equals to so um, the first uh, prob parameter parameter would be all like transition to all the uh, parameters of this uh, button basically right all all includes width height margin top padding padding bottom everything right right so i'm going with all you can uh, also write um, i guess margin apart from this all right but i'll go with all for for now right and the second argument would be sorry second parameter would be uh, the delay basically or yeah it's gonna be delay so i'll go with 0 0.3 seconds right so delay in the transition and third parameter would be ease in or ease out it's something like uh when do you want this uh, transition to be smooth right so when it's going i don't know when the transition is taking place at that time do you want the uh, the transition to be smooth or when the transition is going to end or that or at that time it's some uh, it, it works something like that right so yeah you guys may try it out right so i also want this a transition to get applied right whenever i hover out of this button as well right so it's gonna be all 0 0.3 seconds ease right so let's just check see it works right so whenever whenever i hover in it takes 0 0.3 seconds and it's at ease right it's smooth right so this is how it works and we can also give some you know some uh sort of box shadow box shadow let's say one pixel one pixel five pixels three pixels aqua i like the aqua color right so cool oops okay so we also <laughs> need to provide the none parameter right whenever i hover out right works good cool also i don't want the border basically i don't want the border basically of this button so can go with style dot border none it gets removed right uh in here as well cool right it works it's good okay yeah that's pretty much it about the uh 
basically applying styling through event listeners, right? Through JavaScript. Yeah, so it's basically very important uh, when it comes to designing complex website and complex designs, right? Where there, uh, there is uh, conditional rendering and conditional styling, basically, right? So, yeah, that's pretty much it for the video. Thanks for watching. See you in the upcoming videos. Peace out.